Minecraft Grim Reaper, blowing up blocks like Al Qaeda. I'm not a creature that'll leech you, but I'll leave you petrified. Peter, my mind, peace of mind, sweeper. Take it on a break when you die in a deep. I'll find your mind, number mine. Reading on the mind is mine, is finders keepers. Oh, hi, I'm a creeper. So nice, nice to meet you. But the time is time to leave and tick tock, tick tock. Boom, boom, boom. I can't stop singing this bloody tune, tune, tune. It's gonna make my brain go.
like an Egyptian. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to Cyber Demon Gaming. My name is Matt, and that was Dan Bull with the Creeper Rap and Farah the Valiant, I believe the name of it was called. But I always like to get you guys uh, a little pumped with some video game music, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. We have... I haven't played Magic the Gathering MTG Arena on this channel in a long time. And there is a brand new set that just dropped yesterday that I have a ton of packs to crack. And that's what we're going to be doing. So before we even do that, I got to say hello to everyone that's here in the chat. You guys are awesome. Uh, I'm sorry, Mitzi. The only one that I see is first is Za, so I'm, I'm going to have to take his word for it. Uh, then I see Ishtar. How's it going, gorgeous? Mitzi, I see you too. Hello, Ghost Dog, what's up? Let's see, who else do we have here? Big T, what's up, my man? And yes, Theros Beyond Death. So we are going to be uh, cracking some packs, and by that I mean I'm not going to have you guys watch me open every single pack, um, but I will be highlighting the the rares the mythics and things like that and yes big t we are going to be playing some mono we're going to try and put together a mono black deck uh for mono black devotion with gary and see how that's going uh and then if you guys get bored of that or if it takes a little bit too long or i get bored of it because i have two decks that i want to try and make we are going to uh we are going to actually possibly uh play some mega man so we shall see. We shall see. But first, first, I got to get the game going. Now, I already uploaded everything, or already loaded up once so I could get the download and we don't have to wait for everything. So let's just, let's just keep on going here. Uh, I have a list for, uh, for Gary. For, uh, for those of you who don't know what Gary is and what we're talking about, it's Grey Merchant of Asphodel, who has been nicknamed Gary. He's been nicknamed Gary since he first showed up in the original Theros. And he is a pretty nasty creature. So we're going to see if we can do... Uh, we, can, we can open up enough and see if we can make things happen. But first, I need a number from 1 to 25. First number gets it. 1 to 25. It's up to you guys. Drop my desktop audio down just a little bit. 16. Alright, 16 it is. 16 is... 12.5. I cannot do 12.5, sir. I am sorry. <laughs> Alright, I have to get Mitzi credit. She took a screenshot of it. She was first three hours ago. We'll give it to Mitzi. Uh, Alright. That's right. We now can add friends. So I'm going to add add friends here. We're going to add this one first. Bam! Friend request. Alright. How's it going, damn alien? You know, I don't think she's that good at Photoshop to be able to do that. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. All right, hold on. Let's get to let's get to what we need to be doing here. Let me get all these these clicky clickies going. All right, we have sixty five packs to open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the first five. We're going to take a look at the commons, the uncommons, and the rare or mythic, and we'll move on from there. Uh. 
<laughs> well, that's interesting. These are all... F that's new. Warbar Blessing. Enchant creature you control. Uh, enters battlefield. Enchanted creature fights up to one target creature you don't control. That's... Alright, that's interesting. Dreadful Apathy. Can't attack or block. Destroy target... Wait, what? And then you can exile the creature. That's not bad. Destroy target creature with power 4 or greater. Escape 5. Okay, so escape is... You can cast this card from your graveyard for the escape cost. Exile 4 of the cards from your graveyard. Ouch. Escapes with... Th oh, so it becomes a 7-7. Seven, seven. That's... Kind of bad. Banishing Light is back. That's good. Sacrifice creature. Draw a card. Not bad. I'm glad. I'm actually glad Banishing Light is back. Uh, I haven't... I'm just opening packs now, Steve. Arson of Falling Stars dies. You may return target enchantment card from your graveyard to the battlefield. And our rare wild card. Well, fuck you. All that lead up to nothing. Uh, yeah, probably. Heliod's Punishment. Just battlefield. Four task counters on it. Enchant creature can't attack or block. It loses all abilities. Remove task counter if it does. Oh. Alright. Lucian Wanderer. Constellation. Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, look at the top three cards of your library. You may reveal a land card from among them. Put a card in your hand. Put the order. And then we got Vexing Gull. Flash. Final Flare. Okay. Ichthymorphosis? Oh, well, it becomes a 0 1 fish. Alright. Cry one. I remember that one. No. Okay. Oop. And Underworld Breach. Each non-land card in your graveyard has escape. Is equal to the card's mana cost plus exile three other cards from your graveyard. Huh. Well, with the exiling of the cards, it's definitely not like Dredge. Alright. Cindy Oracle, don't care. Omen of the Sea, Flash, when I see this battlefield. Oh, it's an enchantment. Okay. Sun Main Pegasus. It's Gordon Piper. Hey, we get the goat tokens back. How are you playing Dredge in Pioneer without Dredge? Okay, so this is Narcissus. Alaros Enraptured enters the battlefield tapped. Huh. That's interesting. That's an interesting mechanic. Hey! I, is this a god? This is a god. We got Perforos. Indestructible. As long as your devotion to red is less than five, Perforos isn't a creature. Other creatures you control have haste. Because we needed this creature back. Uh, two colorless, one red. You may put a red creature card or an artifact creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. Sacrifice it at the beginning of the next end step. You're a horrible person, Big T. Just letting you know. Alright. Huntsmaster. Potion Green. Glory Bearers. Whenever another creature you control attacks. Okay, that's... I mean, Owen of the Sun enters the battlefield. Create two 1-1 one, one white human soldier creature tokens and you gain two life. That's not bad. Gift of Strength. That's back. Elicit's life bounty, lifelink, sacrifice, life bounty, target creature, or enchantment. You control gains protection from the color of your choice until end of turn. That's going to be a pain in the ass. Creatures you control get XX until end of turn. X is your devotion to green. That's... Oh, it's creatures, not just one. 
Yeah, the gods and commander were pretty good. Enchantment creature, snake, Gravebreaker Lamia. When Gravebreaker Lamia enters the battlefield, search your library for a card, put it into your graveyard, then shuffle your library. Spells you cast from your graveyard cost one less to cast. Well, that's a way to get escape going. Well, slivers are not a big thing anymore, and their last incarnation was kind of shit, so there's that for that problem. Stern Dismissal to return target creature enchantment. Relentless Pursuit, reveal top four cards of your library. You may put a creature card and or land card from among them into your hand, put the rest in the bottom in your graveyard. Rest in your graveyard. Flicker of Fate, exile target creature enchantment, return to the battlefield. Farika's Libation. Choose one target opponent, sacrifice a creature. Target opponent, sacrifice an enchantment. One with the stars, enchant creature or enchantment. Oh, so it just becomes an enchantment. Okay. And then we got another Underworld Breach. Not happy about that. Alright, let's speed this up. We're going to open 10. So it's just going to show us the rares and mythics. We got the Nyx Lotus. Nyx Lotus enters the battlefield tapped. Tap, choose a color, add an amount of mana of that color equal to your devotion to that color. That's not bad. Ophemia the Cacophony. At the beginning of your end step, you may exile an enchantment card from your graveyard. If you do, create a 2 2 Black Zombie. Protean Thaumaturge. Constellation. Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, you may have Thaumaturge become a copy of an. Okay, so he's a, he's a mimic. And then we got Temple of Malice. Temple of Abandon. Treacherous Blessing. When Treacherous Blessing enters the battlefield, draw three cards. Whenever you cast a spell, lose one life. When it becomes the target of spell or ability, sacrifice it. Huh. I mean, that's good for card draw, but... I don't know. Uh, Thassa's Intervention. Look at... Choose one. Look at the top X cards of your library. Put up to two of them in your hand, and the rest of the bottom of your library in random order. Counter target spell, unless its controller pays twice X. Ooh. That's good. Oh, it's a maze. Uh, it's a it's an expensive maze. I guess they can't reprint Maze of Ith again because that would be pretty bad. Uh, for late game, yeah. Whoa, Strider! When whoa, st when whoa, Strider enters the battlefield, create a zero one white goat creature token. Sacrifice another creature, scry one, escape. Oh, it comes in with two two counters. Oh, the intervention? Yeah, the intervention's a little busted. First Iron Games. Create one create a one one white soldier creature token. Put three plus one plus one counters on target creature. If you control a creature with power four greater, draw two cards. Create a gold token. Alright. I don't know why that last one is. It's on Oh, the Maze of Ith? Yeah, I know. Alright, we're going to open ten more. Well, we're getting some mythic stuff, so that's good, I guess. Kiora's be Bests, the Sea God. Create an 8-8 eight, eight blue cracking creature token with hexproof. Tap all non-land permanents, target opponent controls, they don't attack. That's fucked up. Gain control, target permanent, uh, control, uh, opponent, an opponent controls, and untap it. That, I don't know about a last, last, uh, late game bomb, but that's definitely something that has the possibility of being abused. Like the 8-8 eight, eight hexproof, unless you're doing a bar board wipe or something, that could be a problem. Pull a Kronos, unchained. Well, he's back. Enters the battlefield with 6 plus 1 plus 1 counters on it. It escapes with 12. Good God. If damage would be dealt to Polychronos while it has a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it, prevent it, remove the counter. Fights another target creature. Okay, he's a little busted. For 4 mana, he's a little busted. Ouch. 
Wave Break Hippocamp. Whenever you cast your first spell during each opponent's turn, draw a card. Well, that's a control staple. I got another intervention. Eidolon of Obstruction for Strike. Loyalty abilities of Planeswalkers your opponent control cost... <laughs> oh! Okay! Okay, so what I'm... what? So to use Planeswalkers, you have to pay mana. Nice. Get a bunch of those out, or get more than one of those out, and Planeswalkers become kind of expensive. Flying Haste. Another... God, another Phoenix. Not that bad. The Phoenix isn't that bad. Enigmatic Incarnation. At the beginning of your end step, you may sacrifice another enchantment. If you do, search your library for a creature card with converted mana cost of equal to 1 plus the sacrifice of enchantments. Converted mana cost, put it on the battlefield, shelf your library. Another Temple of Abandon. Bam! Ten more. Oh. Well, okay. Tectonic Giant. Whenever Tectonic Giant... Attacks or becomes the target of a spell and opponent controls, choose one. Deals three damage to each opponent. Exile the top two cards of your library. Choose one of them until the end of your next turn. You may play that card. Not bad. We got two Thassas. A Nihilia. As long as your devotion to green is less than five. It's not a creature. Creature spells you cast cost one less. Reveal the top card of your library. If it's a creature card, put it in your hand. Otherwise, you may put it into your graveyard. Thassa. Uh, same thing. It's a 6 5, it's indestructible. It's not a creature unless you have more than 5 devotion. At the beginning of your end step, exile up to one other target creature you control, then return that card to the battlefield under your control. I like her first incarnation better. I don't like this one. Let's see. Crafter of Wonders, Delicos. Add to colorless, spend this mana only to cast artifact spells or activate abilities of artifacts. Equip creatures you control, have flying and haste. The Akron War. Gain control of target creature for as long as Akron and War remains on the battlefield. Until your next turn, creatures your opponents control attack each combat if able. Each tap creatures deal deals damage to itself equal to its power. That's kind of fucked up. Dryad of the Elysian, Elysian Grove. You may pay an, play an additional land on each of your turns. I'm sorry, what? Lands you control are every basic land type in addition to their other types. And it only costs three. And it's a 2-4. It's a 2-4 for three? That has this ability? Are you fucking kidding me? That's not busted. Oracle of Half-Truths. Menace. Enters battlefield. Target opponent looks at top three cards of your library and separates them to face down piles and face up pile. Put one pile into your hand and the other in your graveyard. Arshana Sun's Grace. Pegasus creatures you can... I guess Pegasus is going to be a tribe now. Pegasus creatures you control have lifelink. Constellation, whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, create a 2-2 white Pegasus creature token. Not bad. The Dryad is a little busted. Nylea is a little busted. Oh, we got another another two random rares. Got another Polychronos, another Nyx Lotus, Thaumaturge, Sun's Grace. We got Heliod. Indestructible. As long as your devotion to white is five less than five, Heliod isn't a creature. Yeah, the Dryad is gonna be good in in anything. Uh, whenever you gain life, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature or enchantment you control. I know a deck that this is going into. Uh, Thassa's Oracle. When Thassa's Oracle enters the battlefield, look at the top X cards of your library where X is the devotion to blue. Put one of them on top of your library and the rest at the bottom of your library in random order. If X is greater than or equal to the number of cards in your library, you win the game. What? So, what? So if I have, like, yeah, win the game. Like, uh, hold on. Oh, hold on. So, it, say my, because de, blue devotion was another big one, right? 
it, it, when Theros first came out. So if they make a blue devotion deck, and it gets to the point at the end of the game where I have ten cards in my library, and my devotion to ten, my devotion to blue is ten, I win the game. Oh, that card's gonna be busted. Someone's gonna break that card. Guarantee it. Mantle of the Wolf. Chant creature gets 4-4 four, four. when Mantle of the Wolf is put in the graveyard from battlefield. Create two 2-2 two, two green wolf creature tokens. That's not bad. Nisian Boar. All creatures able to block the boar do so. It's a 10-6. Whenever that... Whenever the boar becomes blocked by a creature, that creature controller draws a card. Huh. Oh, no. We don't need more... No, no more merfolk stuff. Uh-oh. Alright, so another Woe Strider. Mantle of the Wolf. War. Another Nylea. Another Heliod. I'm happy about that. Let's see. Storm's Wrath. Storm's Wrath deals four damage to each creature and each planeswalker. Ooh. I didn't know Red needed a board wipe. Why does Red need a board wipe? Actually, this is probably for Rakdos or Grixis, not necessarily Mono Red. Nightmare Shepherd. Whenever another non-token creature you control dies, you may exile it. If you do, create a token that's a copy of that creature, except it's 1-1 one, one, and it's a Nightmare in addition to its other types. Nice. Allure of the Unknown. Reveal the top six cards of your library. An opponent exiles a non-land card from among them, then you put the rest into your hand. That opponent may cast the exiled card without paying its mana cost. What? It, so they can play... Alright. Timeric Calls of the Dead. Yeah... Uh, put the top three cards of your library into the graveyard, then you may exile a creature or enchantment card from your graveyard. If you do, create a 2-2 black zombie creature token. You gain X life and scry X, where X is the number of zombies you control. Uh, not good, not bad. <laughs> well, they got rid of Oko a while ago. Alright, uh, we got a Kraken! Whenever you draw a card, you may pay one. If you do, put a plus one, plus one counter on the Deer Kraken and create a one, one blue tentacle creature token. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I see how that works. Hactos the Unscarred. Hactos the Unscarred attacks each combat if able. Uh, Hactos enters the battlefield. Choose two, three, or four at random. <laughs> Wait. What? Hactos has protection from each converted mana cost other than the chosen number. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. Storm Herald. Haste. When Storm Herald enters the battlefield, return any number of aura cards from your graveyard to the battlefield attached to creatures you control. Exile those auras at the beginning of your next end step. Those auras would leave the battlefield exile instead of putting them anywhere else. Elspeth conquers death. Exile target permanent opponent controls with a converted mana cost of three or greater. Non-creature spells your opponent's cast cost two more to cast until your next turn. Return target creature or planeswalker card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Put a plus one plus one counter loyal counter or a loyalty counter on it. That's cool. Uh, I being five, not bad. Uh, if it was four, it would be busted. Equip creature gets one one and has trample and life link. Uh, one permanence you can your opponents control lose hexproof and indestructible until end of turn. Okay, uh, okay. The spear is not bad. I have no more packs to open, guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into decks here. And we are going to create a deck. We're going to go with black. Select the format of standard. And we're going to go with my list here. 
So first, yeah, I see all the new ones. I don't. Okay, so I see, yeah, see all that. So we're gonna add four of these. And then, yar, what the hell is it? We're gonna add I didn't get it. Okay, so we're gonna go into not collected. Yarko? Yarox. Yarox. Oh, I do have, okay, so one, two, three, one, two, three, four of those, and agonizing remorse. Oh, I gotta, okay, so I need two of those. Craft one. We're just gonna, you know what? Fuck it. We're just gonna craft all of them. And then, so two agonizing remorses. What are those? That's not bad. And then, what is his name? Ty. Ty Merit? Him. Okay, so we got a craft, so I need two of him. Just do all of them, because they're uncommon. We only need two. One, two. And then murderous riders. One, two. Ari Ayaras. One, two, three. Deathless Knights. I only need one of those. Whenever, when you gain life for the first time each turn, return Deathless Knight from your graveyard to your hand. Oh, that's a pain in the ass. Did I? I don't think I got any Erebosis. I did not. I need two of him, though. I need two of you. One, two. And then drag to the underworld. Two of those. One, two. Nightmare Shepherd. Oh, I need to craft those. Okay. Well, that's because it's it just started. That's why it's eleven forty right now. There's no decks that have. Uh, there are no decks right now that are abusing it, but there will be. Great. I only got, out of all of those decks, I only got one Gary. So I have to craft three others. Only one Gary. Are you kidding me? One, two, three, four... And Bolus is Citadel. 
Damn, one of those. Am I missing something? No. Okay, and then. Which is Owen? One, two, three, four. Uh, there. One, two. And I'm pretty sure that's it. Oh, no. I need... Black beats. Now, what should we give it? We're going to give it that. And it's This is just a, a one off a, a one a best of one. But, there is another deck, it is a Grixis deck, that we're going to try. I don't know if we're going to be able to put it all together, but we're going to try. So we're going to add a deck, select the format, alright. Yeah, the prices will go down until someone breaks the card. And with what that card does, they're probably going to break it pretty fast. I I know, I only drew, I only pulled one Gary, had to craft the others. When I was playing Theros, the, ori the, the original Theros, and I was playing Paper Magic, dude, I had so many fucking Garys. The digit. What's the point of sleeves on digital cards? It's swag. It's just something cool. That's all. Erebos. Uh, not collected as well. There we go. Oh god, it's a rare. Oh, I have forty-five. I'm a, okay. So I gotta craft four of those. I think I'm good with forty-five rare cards. So, there we go. One, two, three, four. No, I didn't get the. I did not get the My Little Pony sleeves. <laughs> All right. What's her name? Croxa. Croxa. Oh, okay. So we're not going to be able to put this one together. I only have two Mythic Rares, and I need four of her. So we're gonna we're gonna add it in there, but we're not gonna craft. Thought erasures. One, two, three, four. Lazov. I think I got a bunch of them. Yeah, I need. Three Laza. One, two, three. Yeah, the sleeves are like skins on Overwatch. <laughs> the sleeves cannot cause an effect when being used. That's a little that's a little much. Brazen Borrowers. Uh, I have two, but I need three. And cry. Oop. 
two cries. Eat to extinction. These are... These are some interesting cards. Did I not pull any? Oh, they're rares. Okay. That is a possibility is why I didn't get any. There it is. But it's a rare, so I can craft. You know what deck this is? I've been, you know what? I've been playing a lot of Grixis. Um, I, I actually kind of like Grixis. I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm a Nicole Bolas fan. I can't help it. And this deck happens to have two of them, so. Two Doom Whispers and four of these. All right. So let's get rid of the lands. I will add basic land if I need them. Blood Crypt. One, two, three, four. One. One, two, three. Steam vents. One, two, three, four. Four watery graves. Deceit. Oop. Just go ahead and craft four of them. I do like the new art on the temples, though. The new art on the temples is pretty cool. Alright, so one mountain. One mountain. One, two, three. <laughs> You're starting to feel insane in the membrane. Three swamps. One, two, three. Okay, so I am only missing. Well, what I should really do is, here, I'll just craft the two of them. So I'm only missing three, which is not bad. Yeah, I know. I actually had some unhinged lands uh, and unglued lands.
Let's call it Grixis Midrange for right now. I don't have a clever name for it. Yes, I know. Alright. I only had the two decks that I wanted to put together, so I did that. So, we're going to give one of these decks a spin. What do you think? Well, the only one we can give a spin, which is Mono Black, which I believe... I believe a lot of people are playing... Yes, Kill People and Magic. I believe a lot of people are playing Mono Black Devotion. I haven't played Mono Black Devotion in a really long time, so... But it pretty much plays the same. Get your Devotion up, drop a couple of Garys, win the game. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's see. Uh, not bad. Not bad, not bad. Not great, but not bad. And I got my little owl buddy here. Yeah, it's a keeper. I mean, it's not great, but, you know, it's not bad. They are stunned. Runner has no idea what to do because I dropped Witch's Oven. I have stalled them. No, they, they fixed that. Oh, he changed the colors. Awesome. Did I scare them with my witch's oven? My single card play? Was it too much for them? Or is this guy a roper? And then an Erebus on top of it. They're a roper. Basically, they want to waste as much time as possible. Now, if this was later in the game, I'd understand thinking about your next move. You got two mana. You don't have a counterspell. You're just wasting fucking time. And that's all they're doing. Really? Flash. That's what we're playing? We're playing against a Flash deck? Alright. Blue, white, Flash? If you say so. What's even worse is we're both just in silver. This is not this is not something that's going to be devastating to either of us. You're not going to attack So we just have to wait There needs to be a report button, honestly. Uh, they're... Yes, they're allowed to do this. 
Their goal is to annoy you so you just quit. I've only run into a couple of them. They're called ropers because it used to be, um, it was, uh, Hearthstone. There's a rope that appears in the middle of the screen. There's people wasting time. So, he's got, he's got counter spells in his hand. We're going to make him waste those counter spells. Now, if we're lucky, he doesn't have a quench in his hand and all he has is a negate. But more than likely, he's got a uh, he's got a hard counter spell. Yeah, an absorb probably. Like I said, a hard counter spell. He's gonna wait till the last second. Oh, okay. It's wow. All right, wasn't expecting that. Uh, I honestly expected the the counter spell. The Murlocs. I I played Hearthstone for a little while. Um, I just, I couldn't get into it. Like, I enjoyed the personality that Hearthstone had, the interaction that the two, the two people had at the beginning, your two players. It's still a 3-2, man. So what would be really nice is if I draw a cauldron familiar. Yeah, and I normally do have fun with decks. You're not going to cast anything this turn. You're a flash deck. There you go. Now, if he attacks, it means he's got a creature he can throw he can drop in in the uh, in the attack phase. Sorry, guys, I didn't expect the first person I run into. I haven't run into a roper fucked since, like, the last... Not even the last time I played MTG on stream. Like, well before that. Of Chaotic? Uh, I've heard of it. There you go. Yes, I know. Believe me, I know. There's Gary. Now, do we go for... Ayara? What's more important? Ayara or Erebos? Ayara is more important because of Gary. So we're going to try and drop Erebos. Wait for the counter spell.
actually surprised Erebos hit the field. We're not going to attack because he is another creature. And we're not that stupid. It got out seven pack series, but got sued for the rights by the animators of 4Kids TV when they were unable to produce any more cards during that time, and it fell through because of its sued. Oof. No attacks. Play your card. See your turn. There you go. See? Told you. He's got a creature. Now, these flash decks are supposed to run heavy counter spells, so either I'm getting really fucking lucky, or he is just really fucking dumb. Maybe he doesn't run counter spells. Who knows? Because flash decks usually run like 12 counter spells. They are 9 to 12 counter spells. I don't think I'm that lucky. So if he's trying something new with just bouncing and having the ability to bounce because it's only one mana. So he can keep it open for his creatures. That's something else. What's fun is I'm more tedious than this person is. I'll play this out. Because not only am I wasting his time, but I'm annoying the shit out of him because I'm not conceding. I can almost guarantee there's a stream somewhere that this guy is playing on where he uh, is, is flipping out as why I won't just concede. Alright, so we're going to try Ayara again. Waiting for the counter spell. I'm waiting for the absorb. Is it pretty good? I haven't seen any. I didn't even know there was another game coming out. Now I'm assuming he's got another bounce spell, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play into his bounce spell, or he's got another creature, and I'm not playing into that either. It follows the anime as an RPG. That actually sounds pretty cool.
All right, Ishtar, good night. I don't want this one game to be the rest of my stream for tonight. There you go, you're gonna bounce something. What are you gonna bounce? Staggering inside. Another one of those cards. Wonderful. You haven't missed anything, Zeo Gold. Yes, I know you're wasting time. Now, does he have the counter spell? That is the question. Do we think he has the counter spell? I think he does. I don't think I'm that lucky. Red blue is actually not that not that hard to deal with.
believe me, I agree. I, uh... I have the Is It Guild symbol on my arm as a tattoo. Yes, I know you're wasting time. I can see that. I do like Orzov. But I'm also I'm also very much an Esper person. If he counters this, then I'll scoop. For each spell and ability your opponent controls, counter it unless a controller pays four. Yeah. Alright. Let's move on to an actual game. Magic is actually really easy to understand. You know what? We're going to keep this just for funsies. Yeah, I can agree with that. It's a lot more fun to play than watch. Oh, he stays the color this time. Good. I'm about to take one from a scorpion. Am I playing up against a mono green player? What the hell? I don't know how to feel about this. Like, I feel bad. Oh, green blue. All right. No, I'm not going to block your scorpion. Oh, no. Well. I 
Another district guide. Homie, you need to ramp really quick. Love struck beast. All right. not going to be good for you, my friend. Yes, you have a lot of nice big black, big cards. They're not going to help you. Especially since he doesn't have trample. game <laughs> bada ping there we go mono black devotion showing what it can do yeah Gary was a little bit of overkill just a little Go in again. Gary, Gary, Gary. Let's see. Uh, this isn't bad. Just hopefully I can curb out. Was who a mer woman? Well, here's that red blue. Oh, it's the draw deck. Alright, what do we got? Target opponent reveals their hand, choose an online card from it, or from their graveyard. Exile that card, you lose one life. Alright, we'll do this. Ooh. So, we're going to get rid of that. Uh, 
Uh, I have... Oh, that's why it's burning! Oh god, it's burning! Oh, look at that. I should hit that little negative button. No, I won't, though. Oh, I need the land. Come on, I need land. Oh, he got rid of Radical Idea. Alright. Uh-oh. Here comes a Drake. Or is he going to get greedy? Is he going to get greedy and play the second one of these things? Oh, he's getting greedy! Oh, no! That's the one you wanted to get rid of? Oh, come on. I need land. He got rid of the Drake. What? So you gonna try and over oh that's why that's why okay I gotcha I gotcha and believe it or not I'm still not out of this land there we go Yes, I'm playing mono black. Unfortunately, we got stopped up on land pretty hard. So in doing that, it kind of fucked us over. All right. Uh, mono black. The only one that got is mono black here. You know what? Bile blight coming back. Bile blight coming back would have been bad for a lot of people. But that's the third deck in a row that has had blue in it. I don't know if that's a sign or not. This I will keep. Look like Sarah's Poppy. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Yeah, it's a keeper. The three mana itself is a keeper. I'm just shocked we got so fucking mana screwed in the last game. I mean, I'm not shocked, but... More shocked than I should be. We have, we have a decent... Uh, oh, God. Are we playing another mono black? Is this a mirror match? This is not a mirror match. There we go. 
Yeah, it's a sack deck. A sacrifice deck. It makes it they sacrifice creatures. And I have I have my uh, block engine running right here with the cauldron familiar, so they're not too happy. There we go, menace. And another gutter bones. Well, so we're going to block him. Another witch's own. That would be nice. Trying to wait to see what he's going to do.
All right, Big T. Talk to you later, man. I have no problem with that. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to survive this. Does not look like it. I missed that trigger. Uh, there's a chance I might be.
<laughs> Sarah's already pretty buff. I don't think she needs to be any buffer. How's it going, Cinder Shadow? You missed it, Cinder. I had a roper. Like, holy crap, roper. Took forever playing white, blue, flesh. Well, how's it going, buddy? Yeah, a roper playing white, blue, flesh. It was ridiculous. Uh, well, I can get rid of that. Yeah, I know. Pretty oxymoronic. Deals damage equal to itself. Uh, I'm doing all right. Uh, white blue is usually a control deck, Zio. It makes it so that your opponent doesn't really have anything that they can do. Ah, there we go. All right, so we're going to do this. And we're going to get rid of Justice Strike. And then we're going to do this. I mean, living life, I guess. I'm, I'm doing as best as I can. Uh, finally back, f you know, full-time back to work, so that's good. Can't complain there. This is such a good card. Yeah, it's destroy target creature. Mono Blue Devotion. How did I know you were playing Mono Blue Devotion? Did you really just try and... Did you really just try and destroy an indestructible creature? I'm sorry. Am I the one... Am I the only one that saw that?
Erebos is indestructible and you just tried to kill him. You just tried to destroy him. The hell is wrong with you? Mm-hmm. That is a two eight, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Where is a Gary when I need him? Are you shitting me? Sack the two eight. I can't put it on top. That's right, I can. Oh! Hmm. 
No, shock is still a thing. Oh, thank- oh, no. Gary! <laughs> Gary for the win! Oh, look at that, I got a pack. Alright, let's open this pack and see what we get. All right, we got Birth of Melitus. Search your library for a basic planes card. Reel it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Create a zero four colorless wall artifact creature token with defender. And then you gain two life. All right. And then another dryad. All right, man. Hey, send me a friend request, Cinder. They have the friend request thing on there now. Um, yeah. Alright, man, good night. We're gonna buy another pack here. Come on. Unable to get products. Try again later. My ass. I am game if you are. Alright. We won't be, uh... No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't get banned from this game for not being a leftist. All right, we're gonna play another. This is probably gonna be my last game, guys. Uh, it is almost midnight here. Welcome back, Steve. And the, you know, I I didn't need to know you had no pants. Crispy Pata. This is a keeper. We're gonna keep. We're going to keep against... Chris oh, no! Oh, no! Well, this is a mirror match. I don't want to lose the mirror match. Where's your Where's your cauldron? Oh, another familiar. Okay. This is not a mirror match. What? But it is, it's, okay, so we're going to get rid of Murderous Rider. It is a mono black devotion game, though. So he does have Witch's Cauldron. <laughs> it is my motto, it is my motto. But only the motto, only the motto of MSNBC. Oh, you got rid of Airbos? Ooh. All right. Ah, there you go. So you are, you are a long way off of playing Gary.
Lifelink, Death Touch. Yeah, I'll block you. I have the Witch's Cottage. Which I'm gonna play. So, we're gonna do this. And then this. Ah, tell the people the thing. Okay, I gotta tell the people the thing. So, I'm gonna be changing the day of my streams. My streams are now going to be on... Uh, my streams are now going to be on uh, Saturdays. So, it's going to be Saturdays, which can be anywhere from... You know, just like normal, uh, 10 to midnight to, you know, whatever. Next week is going to be Saturdays. Well, I'll just do it again. No, no, just... Just my gaming streams are going to be uh, Saturdays. That's it. Just the gaming stream is changing from Friday nights to Saturday nights. You can do four to me. No, he's going to get rid of my Gary. God damn it. No, the last box is still going to be on Saturday on, on Sundays. And MSNBC, of course, is still going to be on Tuesdays. Hey, we ranked up. All right, that was a quick one. So we are... You know what, we're going to do one more. Uno mas, uno mas. Uh, but this, the last Vox this Sunday is going to be a little delayed. It's going to start at 5. Uh, there are some things that are going on before I can start it. So from five, it's going to be from 5 to 7 instead of 4 to 6. This I shall keep. We are ramping to Nyssa. That's what we're doing. Next turn, he's going to drop Nyssa. Yeah. Yeah, we're definitely on, Steve. I was actually going to message you. Oh, we're not dropping Nyssa. What? Okay. Okay. Cauldron familiar. 
And the witch's oven. There it is. Uh, green, white, black. Uh, it's Abzan. Yeah, Abzan. Green, white, black is Abzan. Yeah, your little one life thing is not going to help you. Uh, red green is gruel. Abzan's a decent three color deck. What did you get rid of? Trail of crumbs. And we're just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna. Oh. Unless this person can gain life, this is not going to be fun for them. I mean, a lot of life. <laughs> All right. Uh, no, green and white does not necessarily mean he's going to be gaining lots of life.
Yeah. And we win. Gary for the win again! Alright, everybody, let's give a round of applause for Gary. The Grey Merchant of Asphodel. Gary! 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 Ah! Alright. <laughs> See, okay, with people like that, it doesn't even dawn on them to sacrifice the food tokens. They could have survived. They could have survived a lot. Of, a, a lot. They could have survived a lot more. All they had to do was sacrifice the food tokens, but they won't do it because they want to use it for that cat. So once you once they get it in their head like that, that they can't sacrifice the food tokens, they just assume that they're going to lose. They could have sacrificed at least three of those tokens and uh, blocked my 4-4. The problem is, is I would have actually sacrificed the Gary, the Gary to have him come in as a token where his enter the battlefield ability happens again. They would have lost either way. So... We're, we're, that's all, that's all we're, that wrote. We're going to open this one up. Ugh, nope. Alright, can I go to the store? I can! Alright. So, we're going to get two packs here. And then I have, I have some, uh, gems. So, I'm going to get six more. And we are going to open these packs. And then that's going to be it. Favorite of Eros. Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, Favorite of Eros gains double strike until end of turn. That's not bad. And, okay, so we got him already. Nothing new there. What is that? Aspect of Lamprey. That is gross! What is going on there? No! No! <laughs> that, no, that's horrible. That's, that's, that's absolutely horrible. Why would they put that on a card? Oh, memory drain. Counter target spell, scry two. That's not bad. Uh, if it was one less, it'd be even better. That, no, why? Why would you put that on a card? Another Shadow Spear. Alright, so Mono Black Devotion is actually a pretty busted deck. Oh, Ox of Agonus? When Ox of Agonus enters the battlefield, discard your hand, then draw three cards. Escape, exile, eight other cards from your graveyard. For it to come back as a 5 3. Why is this a mythic? Why is this a mythic? I am offended, sir. Dream Stalker Manticore. Whenever you cast your first spell during each opponent's turn, Dream Stalker Manticore deals one damage to any target. That's not bad. Wave Mystic. Venomous Herophant. Voracious Typhon. These are some good cards. What is this? Sage of Mysteries. Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, target player puts top two cards of their library into their graveyard. Nice. Oh, there we go. Kunoros, Kunoros, Hound of Theros. We're just going to call it Cerberus, because that's what it is. Uh, yeah, I, I get that. Uh, Vigilance, Menace, and Lifelink. Creature cards in graveyards can't enter the battlefield, and players can't cast spells from graveyards. So that means the escape is out. This is... Uh, Hound, Cerberus is going to be a good one. Cerberus Puppy for three. Cerberus Pup for three. Meyer Triton. Zombie Merfolk. What the fuck? When Meyer Triton enters the battlefield, put the top two cards of your library into your graveyard. You gain two life. Revoke Existence is back. Here that's Pilgrim. What is this? Whoa, Strider. Whoa. I am never not going to make that joke when I see that card. Infuriate... Really? Because red needs that. Moss Viper. 
Starlet Mantle, enchanted creature you control. When Starlet Mantle is the enchant creature gains hexproof until end of turn. It's got flash. Mystic Repeal. Put target enchantment on the bottom of its over in library. Storm Herald. When Storm Herald enters the battlefield, return any number of aura cards from your graveyard to the battlefield attached to creatures you control. I, I think I, I think we got one of those already. All right, last pack. And then that is going to be it for me, guys. Unknown Shores. They reprinted that. Ugh, that that is just horrible. Why? The flavor text. Some aspire to be mighty like the lion or the hydra. I am the parasite that feeds on them all. That's that's gross. Why? Why would you want that? Why? Slaughter Priest of Mogus. Whenever you sacrifice a permanent, Slaughter Priest Mogus gets two plus or plus two plus zero until end of turn, sacrifice another creature, and or enchantment. Mogus gains first strike until end of turn. Huh. Okay. And a mythic. Okay, so what that means is we are gonna go to our deck. Where is it? Grixis mid. And we are going to craft the borrower. And we only need two more mythics. Which is two of them. Elder Giant. Yeah, so. Done. All right, guys. That is going to be it for me. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you very much for sticking around. Uh, play Red Black. I don't have all of the cards for that deck to play it, so I can't. Um, if I do find another Red Black deck that I want to play, I may build it and we'll go from there. But thank you very much, guys. I appreciate you joining me. I ha thank you for hanging around, uh, watching me crack packs, build a deck, going through that super slow first game where I wanted to reach through the screen and strangle the motherfucker, but I couldn't. But I hope you guys join me next time. And I hope you guys have been enjoying the videos that I've been putting up on this channel. If you have, go ahead, give them a like, share them around. If you guys know anybody who likes gaming, who likes Let's Plays, let them know about Cyber Demon Gaming, yeah? And next time, maybe we'll bring some people in. I'm still waiting for that list, Steve. Still waiting for that list. But I will see you guys next time. Y'all have a good evening.